Hey guys, this is T from Driftwood Gaming and I'm here with another tutorial for you all. This is a TileD plugin tutorial and today we're just going to figure out how to install this on our computer and get it running in our game, RPG Maker MZ specifically. So you can find this on Itch, the TileD plugin, and this is actually the mfly.mo page. It has a ton of information on it. You definitely want to take a some time to read it and understand what it says. One of the things that it goes over is setting up your TileD installation, which we're going to go over in this video. We have some special layers with this plugin. We have region layers and collision layers. And one really cool thing about the collision layer is that you have arrow collision. So you can specify collision on the right, left, top, or bottom. Then we have layer properties like Z index, which is great for making bridges. We'll go over that a little bit more later and in other tutorials. And then we have special tile sets that can be used, region tile sets, collision tile sets, and flag tile sets. The flag tile set is actually new for MZ, and you can specify ladder, damage bush, or counter. And then we have the terms of use. Definitely read this and understand it, because it's very important to follow the terms of use if you're going to use this plugin. And Arkea, Yami, and Dernan made this possible with MV and MZ. Thank you guys so much. Okay, let's go to the itch page and go ahead and download this plugin. You guys should definitely consider donating to the team for this awesome plugin. So we're going to save the file and I'm going to do a dirty download and just drag it onto my desktop. <laughs> now in the Tile D website, you'll see there's a ton of information to use here. Uh, the forums, documentation, there's a donate button, definitely consider donating. It is also on GitHub and they have a Discord and the creator's active. It's a great place to ask questions. The download is on itch, so we're just going to go here and download Tile D. Definitely consider donating to this creator as well. This map editor is amazing. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but I think it's Bjorn? Jorn? Not sure. Okay, so I'm going to download for Windows. And I'm not actually going to run the installation because the installation breaks OBS when I'm trying to record. So I did that off camera and it's already on my computer. There is an error message that was popping up for me, but I've had Tile D on my computer for a couple years and it's never given me any issues. So I just pressed OK. OK, now to set up the game files. Let's open our game folder. And in our game folder, we want to go into the JS folder. And in the JS folder, the plugins folder. Then we'll add the plugin that we already downloaded and turn it on in the plugin manager. Now we have to make a folder in the game folder called maps. And this is going to store our JSON files for our maps and our tile sets. I also went ahead and deleted all the default tile sets and added a couple of my own for this tutorial and future tutorials. All right, on to tile D. There's a window on the side open right here, the tile sets window, but I'm going to keep this on the other screen unless I'm using it in the video. The first thing that we want to do is create a map. We can either use this button or go to file, new and new map. I keep these options the same and I want my width to be 40 tiles and my height 40 tiles. My tile size is going to be 24 pixels. Now this is extremely important that you pick this now and you do so thoughtfully because you can't change it later. All the maps and tile sets have to be consistent. Now we're going to save this map in our maps folder that we made in our game folder. And we're going to call it map one. It's important that we name it map one because it has to coincide with the map one in our editor. You can see which map you're using in the editor from the ID up here in the top left corner. Okay. The next thing we need to do is add a tile set. We can do that with this window here, clicking the button in the middle, or we can go to file, new, new tile set. You can name it now, but I suggest just clicking browse selecting your tile set and it automatically names it for you. We're going to save this in the maps folder in our game folder, just like we did our map. And grab an image from our tile set. I'm going to paint this in with the paint tool. 
All right. The next thing we have to do is add custom properties. Click the little plus sign down on the bottom right, and we're gonna add the property Z index. This is camel case. The option in the drop down menu will be integer. That's gonna be set to one. Let me explain the Z index to you a little bit with this image. We have lower tiles, lower characters, normal characters, upper tiles, upper characters, airship shadow, balloon, animation, and destination. Now we chose layer one because we wanna leave lower tiles for things like shadows underneath cliffs or clouds in the background of a floating island. So we'll put our ground on index one. Now we'll add another custom property and this one will be level. We're going to set that to zero because this is the ground level. And the next property will be hide on level. And this is going to be set to one. If you want to create a bridge or an overpass, you're going to change the level that tile sets appear on. When you leave level zero to level one, it will hide that layer and show your other specified layer instead. We'll go over that more in future tutorials. So let's save our map and see how it looks. Yay, we made a map in Tile D for RPG Maker MZ. Isn't that exciting? I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.